Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 16th, 17th, and 18th for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. How are you? Well, this is the weekend reading, so I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Full moon, uh, 15th. It was an Aquarius. Uh, we are still feeling the energy, and you do have good three days to go and release, relinquish, and request. Air sign like you. And, it, you know, this is a very hopeful and positive and dreamer's moon. This is moons that, this is dreamer moon that dreamers Dreams that come true, okay? So put them out there. Put them out there. Now, three cards. Face down, the middle one is reversed. Let's see what we have for my Libras. Okay, first card. The Five of Water. Okay, emotional. Um, this is, so you may, you know, that you may have some emotions just kind of flowing through you. Water is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, fives is about change. Water is, you know, emotional, fluid. This is kind of like, oh, I just kind of feel icky inside. I don't really like what's going on inside. I'm kind of turbulent inside. So this might be, or it could be the people around you too. You know, I, I tend to internalize more so, but it could be the people around you. And, and in so, you know, with them being all moody and, you know, just moody and just, uh, you just want to like, uh, you know, but you can't. Okay, well, you can but it, this is that kind of energy that will be around you. So, it, you know, be careful, be aware so that you don't absorb it into you. Now, this is things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. So with this too, I'm feeling like there's people, that there's somebody out there that, um, you, you, you really, you know, you, you put a lot of effort into something. You put a lot of, and it, uh, I mean, it, it, it could be another person. You've been bolstering that person up. You've been saying, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And that person, after all of this, um, you know, you can do it. And all the energy you put into that person is like, no, nope, I'm not going to do it. So I don't know who that's for. Of course I don't. But, you know, some, I feel like there's somebody out there. And the thing is, you know, where it says not seeing the positive in a situation, it's kind of like if this person didn't, whatever this was, give up on whatever this was, and it could be a project at work, you know, remember relationships could be your work, it could be intimate, it could be, you know, family, but when if this person didn't give up, I really feel that you would have been pushing this person, I mean, the energy that you've been using just, you know, that you would have been pushing this, whatever this project person was, for so much longer, and the outcome would still be the same, and it would have gotten, you know, I feel like, you know, like my neck hurts, and it's like, oh my gosh, I feel you'd be, you would have been exhausted, and it would have been the same outcome. So it's better if we just cut it now. Cut, you know, cut the ties now. Okay, this one's reverse. Strong message for you is the Eight of Air. This is your sign. This is also Gemini and Aquarius sign. And this is just, you know, this is just kind of an offshoot of whatever energy this is. It's just kind of mucky energy a little bit because this energy is you're not seeing, you know, because of whatever this thing was that ended, it really will help you out more so. Because this one's about feeling trapped. This one's feeling like, you know, I don't have any more options. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know, this is this is that kind of energy here. But this is an it's an illusion of being trapped, though. A lack of self confidence, afraid to take action, and it's like you've been putting so much energy behind whatever this situation is, whatever this person or this project or this job or what this family member, whatever this is. You've been you've been being their best cheerleader, and 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 it's like, well, what do we do now? Because you know, because you know. What do we do? But it's, the energy has been more so, you have put so much energy on that that you deplete your own energy, okay? You deplete your own energy. So you need to cycle that energy back to you. So let's see 
what this last card says. And this last card is the Nine of Fire. Fire energy, Leo energy. We're in Leo season. This is also Sagittarius and Aries energy. And this is about even though, even though this, this, you know, this icky type of energy is going on around you. And I really feel you have been, you have been striving so much and you have been helping them. It's almost like, you know, it's almost like you've been helping, you know, like you have somebody that's going to school and you've been doing the homework for them, okay? <laughs> and this is about now the nine of fire. This, you know, fire is very demand, is very um, burning and passionate. But this, I love this. This is you coming into your own though. This is you reevaluating this. I love this card. I call this, I call her the dragon slayer or the dragon tamer. You can see she stands up tall. She stands up confident. She basically says, uh, 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 no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. I don't know whatever this was. You know, maybe, I'm not going to tell you not to give up. I'm not going to tell you not to, um, you know, whatever this is and whoever this is that stopped whatever this project was. This is though, don't give up on yourself. This is you stand strong. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Because the thing was, what and I, again, I don't know who this is for, but whatever whatever this energy was you were putting into this other thing, that energy needs to come back and be put into you because you had the right you had the right thought of it. You had the right idea. You had the right um, the right you saw the outcome. So uh, so it's all you know the other the other whatever that one was and you know I wish I could be clearer, but whatever that one was, it wasn't as appreciative as it should have been, okay? So this weekend, <laughs> this weekend could be kind of an emotional, kind of an angry type of weekend. It could be just kind of this, you know, like, oh my gosh, did I waste all my time on this, on this? And I guess that's what it comes down to. Did I waste? Actually, you didn't waste. You did not waste your time and energy because it, you know, you learned some really good, you know, important lessons on this. I hate life lessons because they're usually on the harsher side. But you actually, it's, it, it's again, it's that veil that keeps lifting off of you and you keep seeing things clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay, but and Libras, don't give up, okay? Don't give up because you are so much stronger than you think you are even when you don't think you are. So, okay. So my Libras, I wish it was like, I wish it was all rainbows and roses, but it, it's just kind of, this is what I'm reading and this is what I'm seeing. But if you see something different, hey, take what you see. Okay. So my Libras, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.